Ainsworth was born in Scotland in January of 1736, and he died in Birmingham, England, in August of 1819. He was a mechanical engineer and a Scottish inventor. The improvements he did in Newcomen's machine resulted in the steam engine, which was essential in the development of the first industrial revolution. His father, James, was a carpenter who built ships, and his mother, Agnes Newhead, was well educated. She taught him to read, and his father taught him arithmetic and writing. James excelled in at maths, science, and engineering at high school, but his language skills were less impressive. Health was poor, and much of his learning took place at home, where he relaxed by watching fishing boats and large sailing ships. One day, thanks to his inventive mind, ships like this would be powered by engines greater than cells. At 18, when his mother died, James gave up his plans to go to university. Instead, he trained in London as a scientific instrument maker, especially in mathematical and nautical instruments. Within two months, his skills were higher than others who had been in training for two years. His exceptional hand skills had previously been commented on by workers in his father's shipyard in Greenock. At the beginning, he studied at home and his health condition was unstable and weak. Then uh, he went to the Greenock Grammar School where he discovered his interest uh, for maths. What like uh, reading? Since he was uh, 19, he built mathematics tools. When, uh, when her mother died in 1753, uh, he was sent to some of her mother relative home in Glasgow for specialism in fabrication and design of mathematics tools. He studied in the University of Glasgow and uh, the University of London. He was a member of the Royal Society of Edinburgh uh, and of London. He was a member of the Royal Society in Edinburgh in 1784 and of London in 1785. He did a doctorate in law in the University of Glasgow in 1806. He was done member of the Institute of France in 1808 and in 1814. He was honoured as Associated Foreign of the French Sciences Academy. This was an English gentleman club of writers, artists and scientists in Birmingham. He got married in 1764 with Margaret Miller, his cousin, and they had two girls and two boys, and the last children died with their mother. After that, he got married with Anne McGregor, and they had two more children. He worked as an engineer in 1767, and he died the 19th of August in 1819 by tuberculosis. Newcomen engines were extremely inefficient. The users recognized how much energy was needed. The steam cylinder was heated and killed repeatedly which wasted energy to reheat the steel and also caused large thermal stresses. James Watt made a breakthrough development by using a separate condenser. Watt discovered the separate condenser in 1765. It took 11 years before he saw the device in practice. The greatest impede impediment to the implementation of the Watt engine was the technology to make a large piston cylinder with close enough tolerances to, so that they would seal a moderate vacuum. The, the technology improved about the same time that Watt founded the financial backing that he needed through, the, through a patri partnership with Matthew Bolton. The Watt engine, like the new common engine, operated on the principle of a pressure different created by a vacuum on one side of the piston to push the steam piston down. However, Watt's steam cylinder remained hot at all times. Valves permitted the steam to flow into a separate condenser and then condensing was pumped along with any gases using the air pump. James Watt invented this document cover to relieve him of the tedium of making copies of his plans and drawings. The press copies and written documents by pressure out of thin, translucent, unsized paper, producing a research copy from the back. 
Watt patented the device in 1780 and his company continued to produce it long after his death. The principle of which the machine is based remained in use until the arrival of modern photocopiers. One's linkage, also known as the parallel linkage, is a type of mechanical linkage invented by James Watt. In 90 January 1736 to 25 August 1890, in which the central movement point of the linkage is constrained to travel on an approximation to a straight line. It was described in one's, one's patent specification of 1784 for the one steam engine. It's also used in automobile suspension, allowing the axle of the vehicle to travel vertical while preventing sideways motion. Horsepower. James Watt was the person who developed the horsepower concept on the honor of his inventions. The SI unit for power. Once was named after him.